Hey guys, welcome to the start of today's video. I think daily vlogs are more appealing to everyone because you get to see more of what your content creator that you follow gets up to during the day. And I thought may as well just, you know, start out today's video with what I do. First thing I do is go drink a coffee. And today we do have a few orders, so we're gonna have to start preparing some. I'll take you along that journey and then we'll get on with the rest of today. <sighs> because it's Christmas time, I feel like a lot of you guys are ordering more on the website, so I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. The first thing we usually do is we go on the computer and we check how many orders we've got and we print them out so I can start packing them. Sometimes we'll have to make some stickers, but I guess today we'll see, but I don't think we do because we've made we've made plenty over the past few days. So we've got some of the orders printing now. Yeah, let's let's pack some orders. We've got a few orders ready to go. They're almost ready to be packed. I can't pack them just yet because there's a few stickers that need to be made. Something that a lot of you guys have been asking in the orders is these AU Falcon keychains. We don't have many left. There's only one. There's 10 AU Falcon keychains left and you can only get these in orders over $40. So go get one before they're gone. And I just want to say thank you so much for the support because over the past few weeks, you guys have been killing it lately. The sales of the merch really helped me build some cars. We've got some massive plans for 50,000 subscribers and I can't wait to show you guys because it's going to be epic. Anyway, let's go down to the garage, do some more stuff. So, oh my God, it's messy in here. <laughs> so of course, like every day isn't the same. Like usually I'm doing different things throughout the week, but you know, this is what I usually get up to. Usually I'll do the orders and usually I'll come downstairs after this and start working on, well, for the past few months, the chaser. So I'll show you and give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with this car because I haven't really had the opportunity to just show you exactly what I'm doing because it's, it's just a nightmare, honestly. Like I've never done anything like this before and I'm just giving it a go. And there's so much that I'm learning and having so much fun, but we haven't got the tune booked until like mid-feb so that's like you know months away so i'm not really trying to rush this thing it's going to be a long time till this car sees the road again but I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of a walk around on exactly what i've done over the past couple of days as you saw in one of the previous videos matt defaz he welded a bung in there for me so we've got the iot sensor all welded up done all the wiring for it and we just i just need to do the wiring into the cabin if you haven't seen this the whole hot side is off because one of the turbo lines is bad and decided to just melt on me because i didn't put any heat shielding around it so yeah just kind of cooked itself. Yesterday off camera, what I did was start putting all the uh, the couplers on for my intercooler. So it, we got into an accident with this thing. And what happened was, you know, I completely destroyed my bar right here. You can see all the drift stitches right there. And as a result of that accident, my whole intercooler got shifted over. Luckily, there's no uh, damage to the intercooler at all from what I can see. But the intercooler bracket right here was like all the way over here and all the bottom brackets, which are just there and there, all moved over. So what I did was I took the intercooler off, smacked it out, moved the brackets over with a hammer, and then I replaced all the couplers with some black ones from Raceworks. Have a look, this is super sick. Um, we've got some new clamps on there too, but the engine bay is gonna look a whole lot nicer without you know, blue couplers everywhere because having too many colors in an engine bay just doesn't look good. So something else that I just found out that I need is a can lambda sensor for the Link ECU. So we're gonna install this today or at least try to attempt to. Um, we can't fully install it because it requires you to weld in an O2 bunk. Um, but essentially what this is, is it's a really accurate way to measure the measure the AFRs in your exhaust system and directly connect it to the Link ECU. So we're gonna mount this somewhere. One of these plugs goes to the ECU and one of these plugs goes to the, uh, the O2 sensor. So what I'm doing now is just removing all the old wiring for the GFB boost controller and the AEM wideband gauge. Um, also, I'm just gonna clean everything up because I did a pretty poor wiring job uh, when I decided to install this because I didn't know that you could get like um, plugs that tapped directly into like wires. So what I did is I just spliced them up and used some, just some electrical tape, which is sort of janky, but obviously it works. And I've been doing really good wiring for the rest of the stuff. So I want it to be really clean. So I'll probably go to J car later and, you know, cop some, some Primo stuff. But yeah, the, the wiring mess is, is pretty pretty crazy in here <laughs> I removed all the wiring and everything that I need to take out before we start installing Oop. 
Sorry about that. Before we start installing the uh, ugh, can lambda. So what I'm doing now is just checking for a spot where I can put the O2 plug for the can lambda. And like I said in one of the other videos, I'm gonna just follow the instructions this time so we don't burn out an O2. And I'm gonna install it further back in the exhaust system. So instead of installing in the downpipe, it's gonna be a little bit hard to uh, manage this because it's obviously very far down. We're gonna have to like route the wiring pretty finically, finically. Finically, is that a word? I don't know. I don't know. I think I have somewhat of an idea of where to mount it. So what I'm gonna do is mark it up and take the mid pipe out and then probably take it somewhere where I can get it welded. I'll probably message DFAS again to see if he can do it for me. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've now installed a custom bracket. I made up a little bracket out of some just metal that I had sitting around just from Bunnings and I've drilled it and we've got the can lambda sensor just chilling here. Um, we've checked out if the cables reach the uh, O2 sensor and it all does. Just need to do the wiring for this and everything should be mint. But I think this is pretty cool. That, like look at that man, it just looks so good. I need to paint this bracket like black or something but just looks good man. Just looks good, look at that. I got Nathan coming over soon for uh, a review. I'm actually gonna re review his car. Okay. We are done in the garage. The original plan was to go to Nathan's house and go review his car, but he's come here now. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Do you want to tell them who you are? Because they obviously don't know who you are. Um, I'm new to the channel. My my name's Nathan and um, I saw Rex's videos and I like- Nathan is a long time subscriber. I've invited him over because he's got a cool car. That's the only reason. Yeah, I, I just, I like I like you for your car. That's I'm gonna it. go home after he re reviews it. And then we, but then we won't talk to each other ever again. No. So I've already taken the exhaust off the chaser and we've got a good look at Flowfab's job over here. Have a sus. Look at these welds. They're really nice. And the reason why I've taken this off, of course, is because we need to get the O2 bung welded in. So I've just marked that up. So we need it. I was told in the instructions that you don't want the O2 sticking at a 90 degree angle. You want it to be a little bit higher than that. So 10 degrees up from 90 degrees. So there's a little bit of an angle. So residue and water and stuff won't sit on the sensor and um, cause any issues for the sensor. So yeah, what we're going to do now is I'm going to review Nathan's car. And if you, go, if you guys have a car that you want reviewed, hit me up. But yeah, this is like what I get up to. I pretty much just have random things going on all the time. And yeah, I'm, I'm sort of doing like a like a day in the life video, Nathan. I don't know. It's not really a day in the life, but it's like what I get up to. I don't well, know. my review. No, like I'm just doing stuff and then this is what I do in the day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you want to see this thing reviewed, stick around in the channel. This thing's got a built SR20. It's completely forged. It's got a GTX GT28. 71. GT2871 turbo on there. Journal bearing goodness. And what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're just gonna review this car. Have a sus, stick around, watch out for the review, cause it's coming. Daily uploads, Vlogmas. <laughs> I'm just, I'm now recording my other video. All right, we're done filming Nathan's car. Pretty, pretty good time. That video will be up uh, very soon. But uh, yeah, the car's next level. Freaking S15s, man. I really want one. You'll see in the video. But literally, every pull, I yell like a little, little baby. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna get some food now and uh, continue on with our day. Look at that thing, man. Oh, what's that? God damn. That was a clean, clean BRZ slash 86. Not too sure which one that was. It's funny because as I was driving Nathan's car, I just kept looking back in the rear vision mirror and seeing the AU. AU looks tough, man. The thing looks so good. Look at Nathan trying to get down. Spider crawl. So do I. I gotta also do that. Oh, there we go. Have a sus. AU X Sylvia. Looks sick, bro. Next t shirt design. Next t shirt. Collab. Gerald? <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Damn. Burger. Burger. Say burger in Russian. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at home now. We've had our boogies and I've decided that I'm gonna to attempt to install the bung myself So I'm gonna weld it all together myself because Matt Defaz inspired me to I actually just asked him exactly what settings that I should use on this stainless right here So the first thing I'm gonna do is start drilling into this stainless pipe and I'm gonna try weld it myself Hopefully we don't get like a crazy boogie weld. That'd be really sad <laughs> But if I can do it all myself, that would be sick Hopefully we don't ruin this exhaust because it's pretty mint. So I'm also gonna have to clear up all this mess over here. All right, we're uh, starting to drill the hole. 
We ruined many drill bits doing it. Drilling into stainless is very difficult. Have a look. Uh, I think I've destroyed roughly around, I don't know, like 10 drill bits trying to drill through this stainless. Don't worry, I know that you need proper drill bits to drill into stainless steel. I just was lazy and I didn't bother getting any. So it looks like we can't weld today. We'll try next time. I'm gonna try weld this bung in myself, but you need quite a big hole. This is the, this is the, the hole, this is the bung. I need it really big. As you can see. Rex is gonna have a go welding stainless here now. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> Goodbye. It sounds like someone's ringing your bell. Probably the real eye just bouncing around. Light send. So there you go, had a really good time. Now we're gonna edit some photos, see how they turn out with this bad boy lens. And uh, yeah. Just been editing some photos. This is probably my favorite photo of today. Here you go. Nathan uh, having a bit of fun. Just had a little nap. I was just, I was dying. So I just put my head on the pillow and had a, had a good nap. I just wanted to say how thankful I am for each and every one of you for being here from the beginning, just watching my videos, clicking like, leaving comments. You have no idea what that means to me. Over the past few weeks on Instagram, I've been getting a number of messages from you guys just, you know, thanking me for inspiring you and motivating you to get the same cars as me. Uh, I know that a bunch of people have got AU Falcons because of my videos and MR2s because of my videos. It's, it's, it's insane to believe that my videos are making impacts on some other people's lives. These messages, the comments, the, everything that you guys do inspire me so much to you know keep pushing further and try to make this dream of mine a reality and it's it's slowly getting there which is absolutely awesome if you told me a year ago that i'd be sending off orders i'd have 40,000 subscribers i i, I don't know what i'd say I'd, I'd be like wow <laughs> usually when it comes to that stuff my my immediate reaction is oh my god i know there's a bunch of other youtubers out there that i'm sure you guys follow that always say the same stuff like you know your dreams are possible and you know, you should just go and do it and you should just, you know, you can you can be successful in anything, but it's so true. Like you guys don't understand how, how true it is. Like we're not at that stage where uh, you know, I'm, I'm living out of home and I consider myself to be crazy successful, but a lot of people will go live their lives and not attempt to achieve their biggest ambitions because of many reasons. They might be scared, they might not want to risk, take any risks. And I feel like if you don't do that, you're limiting your potential. You're limiting exactly what you're you're capable of doing because you're not even giving it a go to begin with. I'm a strong believer in like, you should definitely attempt to achieve your dreams, whether it be like, I don't know, you, your dream could be as ambitious as being like a billionaire. Like, I don't care. You'd, like you might wish to open up a coffee shop. I have no idea, but don't live your life with regret knowing that you had a dream and you didn't attempt to achieve it because of being scared or other people not believing in you. Just go and do it. That's what's keeping me motivated. That's what's keeping the dream alive. And I thought I needed to tell you guys like how much I appreciate, how much you support me. Like you don't understand. It, it changes everything about my daily activities, daily emotions. Like it's unbelievable. I never thought this many people would believe in me. And here we are. I've always told my friends that if they want to achieve their goals, they should go out and do it. And I've always told them as well, if they want to start a channel, I want them to benefit from me. I want, I want everyone to benefit from what I'm doing. Because if everyone's benefiting, we're all growing. It's ever helping everyone. And my friends include you guys as well. You guys, I want you to benefit from what I'm doing. I want you to take away something that helps you, inspires you, motivates you, and just know that I believe in you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for the daily vlogs. I'm really enjoying it. Vlogmas is awesome. And I can't wait to see if we <laughs> manage to upload every single day until the 25th of December. That, that would be pretty insane. Christmas is just around the corner. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.